Ang violence against women o karahasan laban sa kababaihan ay laganap sa ating lipunan at problema ng ating bansa. Noong 2008, ayon sa National Demographic and Health Survey na isinigawa ng National Statistics Office, isa sa limang Pilipinong kababaihan na edad labing lima hanggang apat na putsyam ay biktima ng pang-aabuso. Kaugnay nito ay nilunsad ang 18th Day Campaign to End Violence Against Women o VOW. Ngayon taon pinagtibay ng pamahalaan ng Republic Act 10398 na nagdeklara sa ikadalawamputlima ng Nobyembre ng bawat taon bilang National Consciousness Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women and Children. Ayon sa Philippine National Police, mula January hanggang September 2013, ang Women and Children Protection Center o WCPC ay may naitala sa kabuoang 11,158 na mga paglabag ayon sa Republic Act 9262 o ang Anti-Violence Against Women and Their Children Act of 2004 sa buong bansa. Sa panawagan ito na may temang End Vow Now, It's Our Duty, ay naglalayong bigyang pansin ng pagbibigay kaalaman sa publiko ng mga piling ahensya ukol sa vow. Layon din itong umani pa ng suporta mula sa duty holders upang mapuksa ang vow. Ano nga ba ang karapatan ng mga kababaihan na nakakaranas ng pisikal o sexual? Alamin kasama si Miss Elaine Fuentes. Ako si Jinky Pearl Lustica at approve sa amin ang organisasyong ito. Thank you very much Miss Jinky Pearl Lustica. Nagbabalik po tayo sa ating palatong tunang approve. At kasama natin ngayon, bisita natin sa ating munting tahanan si Miss Noreen Boots Gokon Gragasin, Director 3 ng CSC Office for Human Resource Management and development at chairperson ng Internal Affairs. Ma, magandang magandang gabi po. Magandang gabi Elaine and uh, it's nice to be here in your program. It's so it's so nice to have you here. At Thank itong you. Uh, itong ating topic for today ay malapit sa uh, ating uh, kamalayan. Right. Kasi uh, recently nagkaroon ng mga developments on how the government should treat uh, cases like this ano? at uh, ito ay bahagi ng tagumpay ng kampanya ng ating pahamalaan as well as other organizations para maiangat yung awareness ng ating mga kababayan. Now, the Civil Service Commission, why the Civil Service Commission? Alam mo, ang Civil Service Commission is the HR office mm -hmm. for the entire Philippine bureaucracy. Yes. At ang ating mga duty bearers, which means sila yung law enforcers, mm -hmm. uh, ay sila civil servants, mm -hmm. first and foremost. So it's very important that Civil Service Commission, no, as the admin expert, meaning tagapagbigay ng mga uh, alituntutin patakaran, ay uh, i-cover din yung violence against women. At kasama mm -hmm. nga nito is we want to get rid of uh, um, We want to get rid of sexual harassment yes. as a form of vow in the yes. workplace. Okay, that is one thing we have to emphasize because akalan la sexual harassment is a separate crime. Right. It's actually incorporated within. No, ito ay violence against women. Right. And and there are so many forms of violence. That's okay? right. Okay, isa lamang yung sexual harassment. Meron din yung verbal abuse. That's right. Though. Okay. Um, in fact, the Republic Act 9262, which yes. is anti-violence against women and children, mm -hmm. talks about various forms mm -hmm. of domestic violence. Dinify ng maliwanag na maliwanag right. yan. Okay. So, sexual, yes. physical, even economic abuse is included. Okay, economic emotional, abuse. Right, emotional and psychological abuse mm -hmm. against women as well as their children are also included in the in the law. Okay, now, may mga nagtatanong dyan, bakit daw uh, napakasikat nitong RA 9262, no? At, uh, kasi may mga uh, kababayan tayo, lalo na yung nasa upper uh, levels of society o kaya mga nasa showbiz, yan ang ibinabato kaliwa, ano, 9262. Pero ang, um, ang spirit of the law, mm -hmm. when this law was written, could you tell us please? Um, ang iniiwasan natin dito ay magkaroon ng karahasan mm -hmm. in whatever forms. Bakit babae? Um, hindi naman natin sinisingle out na it's only the women who are uh, Abused, emotionally, yes. physically, uh, sexually molested. Hindi lang sila. And there mm -hmm. are men. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of stories come in uh, that there are men who are also um, being violated. Mm -hmm. However, based on national statistics, yes. you get statistics from na uh, Philippine National Police, yes. National Bureau of Investigation, mm -hmm. sa parts natin, karamihan pa rin ng mga insidente ay babae ang involved. So, This is the primary reason for uh, passing the uh, Anti-Domestic Violence Act. Okay. Right. At uh, isa din sa mga naging tugon ng ating pamahalaan yung uh, sensitization. Right. Uh, to uh -oh. the matter, no? Kasi uh -oh. dati, halimbawa, uh, ang isang babae ay biktima ng isang klase ng pang-aabuso. Um, 
dati kasi may stigma pagdating sa Philippine society. So, yung magsumbong ka lang, napakalaking uh, challenge na noon. At kung ang pagsusumbungan mo,